me get my, hold on, let me get my lighter. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Just finished my walk. Oh my gosh. I'm smelling like a sweet tart. Oh, tarty. That's okay. Because I'm probably going to walk again later. So, this is what I will be having on. I might walk about two more times later. Who knows? <sighs> Gotta balance some of these energies. Y'all, damn, what is fucking going on out there? Y'all sending me all this shit to deal with. And I gotta go out there and ground that shit. Last night was rough. I don't know what the fuck was going on. Some of y'all was having rough, you know, just rough nights. Rough fucking nights out there. I don't think I went to sleep till about two or three. I couldn't even go to sleep. I was like, then I look up and I see the moon about one something. Me and my son had just said, where's the moon at? I said, well, unless it's already over there. Or oh, it hadn't came up. He was like, no, at 12 o'clock, it'd be right here. And soon I go to bed, I see it peeping through the window. I said, oh, there she is right there. There's the moon. <laughs> oh, that was about 1.30. So I'm like, what the hell? What are y'all doing out there? What are y'all doing? Let me ring this bell, this, this, this Reiki bowl. For y'all, godly, we need some Reiki up in here this morning because that was rough last night. I didn't know what was going on. that out oh that was a good walk it felt good it was a breeze out there got me a tan <laughs> i'm looking like i'm looking like three four shades darker <laughs> i love it <laughs> i don't even look like myself like a darker self right <laughs> in the winter time it'll come back <laughs> i'll lighten back up uh but i believe in getting my son my vitamin d I don't try to be looking all bright all year round. Nah, you but you don't know like I know. You better soak that sun up for the winter. Because in the winter time, you're gonna be hibernating. You're gonna need all of that vitamin D, baby. You gonna need every last drop of it. If y'all know like I know, stop trying to stay all light and bright and cute and pretty and 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 all that shit. I don't mind getting the tan. Trust that. Trust that. Sometimes I can't even recognize myself. Sometimes I'll be so dark by the time we're gonna roll up in here. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with you. What is this I'm doing? Libra. Okay. Libra, spirit source energy. What is going on with Libra's planets and houses today? Spirit source energy. Where are they at? Spirit source energy. This is a bonus for our Libras. What is going on? That one's trying to jump out the 10th house. Your achievements and status in the outside world. See there? In the outside world. That looked like the man. It is the man on the moon. I was about to say, that looked like the man on the moon. You walking on the moon. You walking on the moon. What is your 10th house? Your 10th house is Libra Capricorn. You about that business. Let me see. Career, business, work. Uh, it's the devil. In the tarot card is Saturn, okay? Uh, planet Saturn, Saturn, right? Saturn. Uh, you wanna, you you wanna watch out for your digestion, your bones, uh, your knees, okay? Uh, this is July the 9th, twenty twenty. Um, 
Libra bonus. Watch out for your knees, your digestion, uh, and your bones. If we're going to go by the 10th house. Okay, if you're going to go by your house, Libra, it's about partnerships, contracts. It's about uh, marriages. It's the Justice card. It's the planet Venus. It's your kidneys and your bladder you want to watch out for uh, around this month. I'll just say around this month since this is July. Just kind of watch those things. You may need a detox. Uh, of course, I got the CKLS down there in the new body. That's a kidney, colon, liver. I mean, colon, kidney, liver, CK, colon, kidney, liver, spleen detox, along with freedom for the lymphatic system. Okay. So that'll clean all the toxins out. If y'all want to order that, hit me up in my inbox, cometicarts2020 at gmail.com. And I'll get you the price and stuff for that. It's like a hundred pills. So it'll last you like for every season change. I do it every season change. Uh, so that's four times a year. That bottle will definitely, for 10 days, that bottle will definitely last you over a year if you're not giving them away. I give them away, of course, you know, to my mom or whatever. But so my bottles go down quicker. Um, but uh, definitely look at those areas. You know, do what you need to do for those areas. Maybe some exercising if you're having problems with your knees. Um, start walking. Do maybe, you know, consult a doctor first because I'm a nurse. Consult a doctor first. Don't try any herbs or any exercise without consulting the doctor. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. Right? You have free will. But, of course, consult your doctor in case you're on other medications or you have previous, you know, symptoms or injuries or whatever. You don't want to hurt yourself. But anyway, after you consult your doctor, light exercise, yoga, tai chi, uh, walking, a little light weight lifting, right, for muscle strengthening, okay, because of those bones. As we get older, we lose that, uh, the bone density, bone density, and you have osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, uh, okay, so we got to put all that stuff back. We got to strengthen the body, okay, strengthen the bones, the muscles, uh, What else? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's interesting because uh, Libra is like Venus and uh, Capricorn. No, what did I say? No, 10th house. I did say Capricorn. Where did I see say Saturn at? Oh, it is Capricorn. Saturn. It's Saturn. And we say it's Venus that binds Saturn to the rings. And that's interesting. Those two came out because Venus is what keeps those rings going around uh, Saturn. Because Venus is, 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 the own, is another sun, its own sun, right? Uh, Venus sun, the, the sound, right? V sun, right? B the sun. <laughs> Y'all, I, I be seeing other shit. Y'all may not even be able to see what I see. <laughs> Because my, my spiritual eye be like all over the damn place sometimes. Like, you know, playing musical chairs and shit with stuff. But yeah, um, so we're going to look at, for you, um, Libra. We got your planet, which is your 10th house, your achievements and status in the outside world. And you're about contracts, partnerships, forming alliances, uh, uh, could be law, could be, you could be a lawyer, you could be an attorney, you could be um, a real estate agent, things that deal with contracts. You could be a loan broker, you know, in the finance world, a banker, okay, uh, in stocks. Okay, in, in the market, in the uh, the market, okay, the stock market, buying stocks, okay, stuff like that. So anything that deals with contracts, partnerships, working with people, basically, you know, y'all might be doing, might be a group of investors working together and there's a Libra in a bunch uh, that knows contracts, that, that's comfortable with doing the contracts for the, the group of investors collectively, Um but definitely this is about uh, partnerships. 
and forming those alliances. Uh, let's see here. Okay, spirit source energy. What is going on with our Libras? What's today? What what do they need to know? What is the collective energy for Libra? Spirit source energy. What is the collective? We're going to challenge ourselves today. These are my advanced cards. <laughs> ah, these are the advanced, the advances, okay? When I say advanced, <laughs> they are fucking advanced, like the Egyptian ones. I'm like, what the fuck did I get these for? To challenge the psychic abilities, right? You got to you gotta develop your intuitive mind, right? You got to develop that shit. You got to practice, baby. You got to practice. Hey, sis, how was your birthday? Spirit Source Energy, what's going on with our Libras today? What do you want them to know overall? Ooh, ooh. All right, all right, all right, all right. We have here the Ace of Wands. This is about uh, new beginnings. This is your overall energy. Uh, oops. This is your overall energy. Um, Libra. This is about new beginnings. This is about passion and creativity. This is about your intuition, okay? Your overall energy. Then you have the nine of wands. The nine of wands. About a star. It's about balance. Nine of wands is about you uh, pressing through, being... Uh, pressing forward it's about you it's like the 10th house said the achievements the status you wanting to be a star and look at the star right there and look at the star it's like you wanting to be the center of attention okay with whatever you're working on with whatever you're creating uh or trying to find that the, or getting that wish for fulfillment and pushing through till you get that wish fulfillment even because it's it's a star. You want your you want your position in the in the limelight. You want you want to be noticed. You want to be you want to have your star moment, your your glory, okay? And that's you nine meaning completion. You pressing through until you can reach that that fulfillment, right? Spirit source energy, what else is going on with our Oh, there's another one up right there. It's turned up. With our Libras, they need to know this is your hermit mode, hermit energy. This is about uh, seeking the truth, the deep, 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 deep. I don't know if y'all can see that deep truth within. I don't know. There, maybe. Oh, there, maybe. There it is. Seeking the truth deep within. This is about the truth, right? This is about seeking wisdom. This is about you know, maybe going to a sage, uh, somebody that's wise to guide you along that path. Okay. Seeking that higher intuition. This next one is the King of Pentacles. This is about the financial, uh, stability and independence that you are seeking, that you are looking, uh, for answers Libra in being the King, being the, uh, financially independent and, and being taking authority back over your life. Uh, also, um, uh, sitting in your power, uh, grounded. This is your earth energy, your Taurus energy. Uh, Hermit is Virgo. Wands is, Wands is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay. Hermit is Virgo. Okay. And also this is about you, making a position for yourself, uh, finding your place in the world. Okay. This is about authority, a high position, a high post, right? A high post that people look up to. You might be the father figure type. You might be the mentor type, and it could be a Libra man or a Libra woman. It doesn't matter. I'm talking about the energy of the card, not your gender. Okay. 
So you on the other side can be female or male. It's still going to be the same thing for you. Okay. Uh, ooh, look at that. The two of cups under the bottom. All right. Spirit source energy. What else do you want? Le ooh, Libra. Damn. That's too many. I don't want to take that many. Oh, Lord. I don't want to take that many. That, they just threw the whole deck out there. Oh, I had did a crunch after I walked. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I guess they want me to take these. Okay. They said, yeah, you do want to take toes. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. I guess so. Libra showing up for their own reading. So I guess we going to take that. We going to take that. We going to take that. Okay. I'm going to have to move my mat so I can. Hold on, y'all. Let me move my little. So I can lay these out. Uh. So I can lay these out and then I'll move the camera. Okay, how I need to move the camera. How I need to move the camera. We're gonna lay these out. So here we have temperance. We have temperance, which is about Sagittarius energy, alchemy energy, uh, it's fire sign. You might have a fire sign around you, could be Aries. Uh, it's about keeping calm, keeping the level head, uh, maintaining balance with your higher and lower self. Okay. Ooh, at the heart of the matter is the six of chalice. This is you wanting a soulmate connection and even emotional balance relationship uh, with your person or with someone that whoever you're thinking of during this reading. This is the five of pentacles and you feeling left out and coming up short through these relationships. Okay. And you're wanting to balance the pinnacles out. The pinnacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Here is the justice card. You wanting that justice, wanting, uh, and it's coming under temperance. Okay. Wanting justice. I don't know how I'm going to do this. This is, I'm running out of room. Then here is Venus, Empress, Taurus energy. Okay. Sitting in your feminine power. Okay. I'm going to have to pull one more and then I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, one more spirit, one more card for, for Libra. There we go. Jumper. Ten of Wands. Putting an end to something, right? Finishing up, you know, something. Tired of those burdens. Ready to put that shit down. Okay. Let me move y'all to the to this thing right here. So y'all can see the cards. All right. I don't know if y'all can see it. Pretty. God, if I can just get this damn position of this phone in the right spot here We're on this podium. This is like the hardest thing to freaking do. Oh, maybe we'll go that way. We'll see. Oh, that don't look right. I don't know. Nah, let's go back up. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> it's never. These phones, I need like a big old iPad. That'll show the whole desk because this little area here is too small for me to be working with right here. Okay, I'm going to rearrange some of this right here. I'm going to have to okay, scoop some of my crystals back here. Okay, next, now we're going to start. Okay, now i got a little bit more room here so y'all can see. Because these cards are more long than short. And that's where we run out of room at when the cards are so long. You know, we got to keep moving the camera and making adjustments and stuff. Your under all energy is the five of cups. Okay. The five of cups. So back at, back at the beginning for Libra. Okay. Again, you come in with the overall energy ace of wands. Okay. You're the ace of wands wanting, uh, a new romance, uh, wanting to make a new start, wanting that new communication, to come in uh, with you or your person, whoever you're thinking about. If you're single, then it'll just be you. If you are if you have a person, this will be you. And this will be your person over here on this bracelet with the shells. And if you need to swap, you can swap. The, the, the middle lane will be the mutual energy. Right here would be the heart of the matter. Okay, That's what's at the heart of this reading. Here is your five of chalice. This is you. This is you, you know, thinking about, uh, 
the imbalance of things, thinking about how things are not going the right way. This is like an imbalance because you got five cups. It's not even, it's an odd number, right? So you're thinking of the relationships that you've uh, cultivated or that you've put your heart into that have been unbalanced here. So you're more thinking about the negative of things versus the positive of things. You're thinking about the things you've lost, not about what you've gained, okay? You're elevating the, the you want to give these two cups to somebody. These were unfulfilling. Even though they're standing, they weren't the best. You want the two. You want somebody to match your emotional uh, fulfillment, your emotional desires or whatever you want to call that, right? That's the five of cups. You know, you want somebody to keep you as the center of attention, the center of their world, and you're the center of their world, basically, with that star in the middle, okay? That's a wish fulfillment. Your wish is to have a balanced, emotional, uh, stable partnership, okay? The nine of wands, again, like I said, pressing through, pressing forward, being on the defense, uh, okay, wanting uh, to balance things out, moving forward. It's, it's like you want that star fulfillment. You got stars here. You, you got a lot of wishes here, okay, and trying to find that balance in that wish. The hermit mode, again, but the king of pentacles over here, again, you want to be stable. You want to be grounded you wanting your finances to be independent you want to be independent financially independent uh uh money wise or business wise okay you're working on building a business you have to go within the hermit energy though virgo energy here okay seek help possibly seek uh some guidance from the sage this is intuitive this is uh introspection this is your intuition, you know, this is you following the path, you know, following the path, okay? Then you come in with your temperance in the present moment. This is about balancing your ego, putting egos aside. This is about you staying calm, level-headed, you know, peaceful. Um, the temperance, again, Sagittarius or Aries energy there uh, that's around you or in your chart somewhere. It's about balancing things out. It's about patience is a virtue, you know. It's about the turtle, slow and steady, right? Um, taking things slow after coming out a long battle, a nine of one energy, now slowing things down, being patient, seeing what you've learned, okay? Seeing uh, uh, what's there to be seen not rushing through it, right? Five of Pentacles. This is a uh, King of Pentacle coming in under it is like Five of Pentacles being left, being unbalanced, still another star there. Well, it's a lot of stars in the coins, but this is your earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, King of Pentacles. This is like someone feeling they, they've had it all or they can have it all, but they don't. It's uneven. It's it's uh, being left empty-handed, coming up empty-handed, being left in the cold, okay? This is about uh, you're worried about a loss, okay, of some sort, you know, loss of finance, decrease in finance uh, with the five of pentacles here. At the heart of the matter, again, cup, uh, the six of cups deal with uh soulmate connections wanting that soulmate connection uh wanting that balanced union uh equal give and take this is like the you're thinking about a back over happy memories you've had with somebody this could be a soulmate twin flame connection here with this person uh and reuniting with this person okay with the cups this is about this person, you know, you feel you've known this person from way back when, okay, from a long time ago, and everything was emotionally balanced with you and this person, like, you mirrored each other, 
That's how well. This is like twin flame soulmate. Y'all mirrored each other to a T. You feel that this was your person, okay, at the heart of the matter, okay? Now, coming in, justice, Libra energy, showing up for their own reading, of course. This is about you holding the scale and, and being truthful with yourself and weighing, uh, weighing the heart, the thoughts and the heart, okay? This is about balancing things out, putting the balance back in your life, but having temperance, doing so, doing so without ego, doing so with patience, being patient with yourself, because this is going to take time. Libra, uh, the justice brings uh, balance where there was an imbalance in, in, in your life, Libra, male or female, right? So this is about you standing in that power, being truthful with yourself, you know, speaking your truth, uh, taking action and, and looking at your own heart, weighing your own decisions, weighing your own judgments, right? Uh, and actions, uh, not just those of others, but looking at yourself. Remember, because the hermit's here. So you have, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four major archaeas here. Okay. That deals with home. The number four is about home life because that's the house of cancer. And we're in cancer season. So that deals with family and home. So this is about Libra taking a look at yourself and your own home, your own balance at home like at home with yourself, introspection, right? With the hermit. This is about you going within, balancing things out internally with yourself, okay? Okay, then we have the Ten of Wands. Again, the Ten of Wands deal with, uh, could be somebody holding something in the relationship, your person is, uh, with holding the fact that they, they're, they're not well off as they say, they're well off because the five of pentacles is somebody losing finances is left out in the cold or their money is not what their money say their money is or what they say their money is rather say the 10 of pentacles deal with taking uh, responsibility. This is about accomplishments. This is about, uh, uh, going up the ladder of achievements of accomplishments this is about standing, even standing your ground or, or, or carrying a lot of weight, okay? Carrying a lot of weight. Ten is endings. This is the endings of burdens, even, of carrying burdens uh, for other people. It could be. All right? And then you have the Empress, uh, Venus, Taurus, Earth energy, right? Someone that is sitting in their power, sitting in their feminine energy, giving, fruitful, right? Uh, loving, compassionate, mothering, right? Someone that is, uh, this is about new beginnings, new, having new opportunities uh, come around, right? With the six of cups, with the hermit, because uh, it's right down the middle. And this is your future. So this is about you taking back your, power and like i say the empress is like the cream de la cream of all the queens this is the best one you want if you're a libra man you want a you want an empress you know if you're a libra woman you want to be the empress you don't want to be uh, a, a a queen of pentacles even though she can be the queen of pentacles also but this is like the cream de la cream of all queens right this is the the mother of all mothers with the Empress card, right? This is about your earth. This is about uh, singlehood. This is about, you know, this person could be single. This person, this is like you ruling your queendom, kingdom, okay? Uh, people see you as having everything, having balance, having that financial independence, having that emotional stability, having the passion and the love that, you know, turns worlds. This is uh, people seeing you as able to communicate on all levels, you know, uh, taking action where action is needed. You're the empress, you know, people come to you, you know, people look up to you, to mother earth, right? Cause that's what, uh, the empress represents mother earth, Venus, um, up under the bottom. Let's take a look. Wheel of fortune. I thought I saw that. This is about destiny and fate. Definitely. Definitely under the bottom is about destiny and fate. This is about getting in line with your purpose. 
This is about soul searching. This is about uh, honoring yourself, honoring your place of home, okay? Your, your first home, which is your body, your skin, right? Loving yourself, feeling the power, loving yourself again, giving to yourself and not overburdening, burdering, what is the word? Damn retrograde, <laughs> Mercury retrograde got my tongue. Not over, over burdering. It just won't come out, y'all, with my countryness. Fuck it. Y'all know what I'm saying. Burden. How you say burden? God damn it. Burder. Damn it. I can't even get the word out. Uh, retrograde fucking with my speech. What, what were you? Burden. Burden. Now put the I-N-G on it. Burden. Burdening. 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 Overburdening. Yeah, yeah. overburdening. Over yeah. There it go. It's like, God damn, this retrograde is. Ah! Hurry up and get out of here, June 12th. Hurry up. I mean, July 12th. See, they're fucking up. It's June. I'm going backwards. It's July. We got three more days. God damn. Woo. This speech. Good Lord, y'all. Somebody. And see, somebody out there is having issues with communicating. Because see how I just got fucking tied up at the tongue just now. So, you know. You might want to work on, uh, or maybe you're not talking to your person, uh, Libra, and that's where a lot of this, uh, or you're not talking to people in general if you need help with burdens, you know, with carrying too much. You're not communicating, and it's stressful. So, but something's come to an end. That's interesting because we got nine up here. We got nine up here for the first card, and we got ten down here. We got nine, six, and ten, which means a balance of phys spiritual, physical, and to ending. Like something is really coming to an end in order to bring in this overall energy, Ace of Wands, right? So, so something has in it to start this new beginning with your overall energy. And it's really you looking at yourself. It's really at you uh, uh, balancing out your own ego issues. It's really you harmonizing with yourself is what i see here like this is all about the self this is like freaking all about the self with uh libra this is you bringing your world your home into balance because you at you, you know you can be seen as the king of pentacles but you also can be seen as the empress down here in the future tense or in the, in the future tense the past tense will be up here the future tense will be right here and the present will be right here so you could be seeing, you know, your higher self even says, look, you're a king. You're meant to rule. You're meant to have authority, right? And we deal with, like I said, in the beginning, we deal with the house of Libra. You're dealing with law, contracts, partnerships, king, right? Kingdom, being a leader, being a father figure, you know, being a person that people go to for advice. But if you're not holding yourself uh, balance with temperance or with justice then you're no good to anyone else that's what I'm getting here so this is all about Libra energy balancing themselves coming home to themselves and and governing themselves and getting rid of getting rid of those extra burdens that you don't need to carry okay getting rid get a re getting rid of that extra weight because it's been a battle You've been battling really yourself, your ego. Here is what I'm hearing. You know, the, uh, going through that dark, dark night of the soul, baby. Dealing with that shadow work. And that's always a challenge for us. You know, we, we want to stay in the light and we don't want to deal with that inside. But at, at some point in our destiny, which is destiny, right? Because that's the destiny card, the will of fortune. That means it's faded. You're going to have to... to to rise to the occasion, you're going to have to go deal with the dark night of the soul. You will have to go through the cold dark alone. You will. Everybody will. If you're talking about destiny and fate and getting uh, that will of fortune and, and walking into your life purpose, baby, you will deal with the dark night of the soul. Guarantee. fucking T. Guarantee. fucking T. It is no fucking way around it. That is your, that's your shadow self. That's the balance. That's the balance. You cannot just have light and, and, and neglect the darkness. You cannot just have light and refuse to see your other side, your counterpart, right? Your other side of yourself, like with this yin-yang. It's no fucking way because it wouldn't be a fucking yin-yang, 
with just light. It wouldn't be a yin yang if it was just fucking dark. So you cannot run and hide from yourself. The only thing you can do is face your fucking self. And this whole is yourself. Your whole self. Okay. Not one half of the self, whichever half you choose to live on, masculine or choose to live on the feminine. It's an imbalance. You got to embrace the whole side of self, the whole self to move through and get the, the will of fortune. So, um, that's what I'm, that's what I'm, uh, hearing here, uh, with you guys. I, I mean, it really is nothing really to clarify on this one. This one was pretty cut and dry. Uh, so we're going to go and see what is the, uh, what is the challenge here for Libra? We want, we want to know what the challenge, the outcome and the advice the most highest advice spirit has for Libra, you know, to get the most effective, uh, positive outcome, you know, for th this reading here. And you can meditate on this reading all month. People, if y'all want to get a reading from me, my information will be below. You don't even have to get a reading from me, but like once a month, because you don't need to, you need to give these energies time to kind of pan out and see where you're at. If you start doing them too soon, you, you might... You ain't giving the first reading in time enough to pan. So if you're going to be one of my clients for readings, once a month is, 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 is good enough. No more than every two weeks. You know, that's that's on you. Uh, my information will be below. Don't forget to go to my YouTube channel, like and subscribe, and hit that bell button so you can get those bonuses and uploads. Uh, okay? And also... Uh, let me know if it resonates with you, if this is what you're going through in your present moment. Of course, you don't have to. It's timeless. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, boom, leave it on the eye. Leave it on the eye, Rod. Just take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. Okay? Let's see what your challenge here is, Libra, Spirit, Source, Energy. What is Libra's challenge? What is Libra's challenge? You're guarded. You're guarded against. You're guarded. You're not even open. You're not. You're. It's like. You're protecting your heart. Uh, temperance is here, you know, working in the background, trying to get you to see that you can't move forward because your heart is closed. Possibly your heart chakra, okay, has to be open, okay, to uh, the major archaeas you cannot change. Again, I try to tell y'all that every so often so pe if people new looking, they, they'll know. The minor ones you can move around, but the majors are your spirit. That's the spirit working behind the scenes, okay? And it may not seem like anything is moving or progressing, but it is because that's why the major archaeas are out. And I think I said you got four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four out here. And then the Wheel of Fortune would make five, which means big change is coming because five is a sign of change. It's a sign. It's a number of change that means uh uh, you're about to go through some change in order to get this will turning in your favor or turning back around or to complete something. This is like the end of a cycle. So that's what 10 is, the end of a cycle. Something's ended, okay? In order for you to get this, this ace of wands, this new beginning up here, that's the overall energy. So you're very guarded um, right now. You're going within, again, matching the hermit card, You but you got your swords across your your chest blocking your heart so you're not letting anybody in emotionally right now high priestess again going in tapping into that intuitive self following uh your spirit guys talking to your spirit guys developing your psychic abilities working on uh, uh manifesting something you know t tuning into those dark mysteries sacred knowledge right or this could be you consulting a high priestess okay someone that has that connection with the spirit realm this is a high priestess okay spirit source energy what else about the two of swords Ugh. justice again oh my gosh y'all are definitely coming out in y'all reading libra twice so spirit is definitely saying Whatever the situation is that was imbalanced, you're going to get the justice. Whatever uh, uh, you or your person went through, this left out in the cold, maybe this person just left you high and dry, hanging, uh, left you, uh, you know, this could be somebody even got used for their money, okay, got used for a position, because you're looking at a king of pentacle here 
which is a high position, a father figure position, but it left you or them in lack, or this could have been you leaving somebody in lack, or this could have been somebody leaving you in lack. But however, justice is out here twice saying you're going to get balance. You got to balance your thought and your heart, your thoughts and your heart, your words and your heart, your actions and your heart. You have to align those up. Okay. Uh, and that's why you're feeling lack here. And you're going to have to have patience with temperance on this healing process of your heart because you blocked out your emotions. Like this is somebody doing something without emotions, but you're wanting the best. You're wanting emotional stability. You're wanting a soulmate, but your heart is blocked. So you got to open up your heart chakra before you can get the soulmate to come in because the soulmate is going to stay out as long as your heart chakra is blocked. Okay. Spirit source energy. Ooh, so that's the challenge here. Getting you to see you need to take action in opening up your heart chakra. You need to take action in uh, being vulnerable, in, in uh, not having an ego, not uh, uh, and putting things down that no longer serve you even because you got the ten of wands and you got the ten. You got the ten, what is this? You got the nine of wands and you got the ten, the ten of wands, putting an end to burdens. Okay. Weighing properly what you want to take on. If it if it if it's if it doesn't serve your purpose and your destiny, why are you taking on so much that you can bear? Is what I'm hearing from spirit. Why are you taking on shit that don't concern you? That's what I'm hearing. Because it's leaving you coming up empty-handed with this five of pentacles, leaving you in the cold. Okay. It's leaving you in the cold. Spirit source energy. What is the outcome for Libra's in uh, Libra's reading? What is the outcome? What is the outcome, spirit? What is the outcome? Oh, that was too many. I'm gonna get this one though. I saw this. I saw this one drop. The outcome is the victory. So you're going to get the victory here for the outcome. The outcome. You're going to be noticed. You're going to be seen. You're going to recover. Uh, it's going to take patience again. It's going to take patience uh, to recover. There's the hermit. I saw the world card a minute ago. There's the hermit again showing up twice. Yeah, I mean, spirit is definitely telling you to go within. You got some soul searching to do. You got some soul searching to do. You may have lost everything uh, at some point. Again, the hermit twice, the justice twice. Uh, but you're going to get the victory as the outcome. It might be some case, a lawyer, a divorce could be. Because remember, y'all deal with partnerships. Y'all deal with contracts. Y'all deal with, it could be child support for some of you guys. Having to pay child support and go to court. Uh, it could be divorce for some of you guys. It could be assets being divided. And you're waiting on, you know, the money, the financing to go through. And it's showing you're going to get the victory in it, whoever this is. Of course, it's going on my YouTube channel, so it'll, it'll meet more people. Uh, than on my Facebook page. But this could be someone going through some type of law case. Could be an accident, you know, that you had and you're in court trying to get, you know, your payment for your car or something or for your injuries. You're getting the victory either way you go. Because victory, this is about victory and success. And it was over money. So it's over your Taurus energy, uh, Capricorn Virgo energy, which is finance. Being left out in the cold. You know, this, some somebody's case could have like really broke them or almost broke them you know because you came up feeling cold and left out maybe you're doing an appeal okay of some sort uh but it's showing you're going to get the victory okay this is a learning lesson for you but it's still about you going in having soul search with the hermit getting the justice, having the temperance, not getting the ego when this victory comes. You cannot be having a big head when this when this victory comes. You cannot think you're the shit is what I'm hearing. You still have to be humble. 
because of the empress energy right here she's about humility she's about uh uh humility she's about gracefulness she's not about conceit but she's still about giving and nurturing and like paying it forward okay still about paying it forward so you got to remember when you win this court case or whatever this case is or whatever is old to you that you still got to be humble okay you still got to be respectful you're still going to be helpful that's why the emperor showed up to remind you this is this is not about ego this is not about I was right and you was wrong and you did me dirty and this, this, that, and the other. That's not what it's about. But you are having, uh, you are having spiritual forces working behind the scenes to do, to, to get you what is owed to you. Justice is out here twice. That is fucking strict as damn day. Whatever injustice was done to you, whatever left you feeling lack. In this five of pinnacle energy that you're in presently, you will be compensated for with a victory. You will be. Whether, like I said, divorce, partnerships, uh, relationships, uh, accidents, child support, taking somebody back to court for some, some damages or whatever the case may be. Because justice is about court. It's about law, right? Contracts. Uh, could be a business partner and you lost a lot of stuff because of a business deal you know um, could be an inheritance coming through for some of you real estate in, uh, uh, inheritance or air property division stuff like that it could be it, it could be a lot of things because when you think about okay when you think about the empress that's about mother earth so that's about land that's about uh assets that's about air property that's about real estate things that are owed to you and coming in right beside the justice card and the justice card right above it you know you guys some of you guys are going to be sitting pretty fucking good <laughs> And it's putting an end to your fucking burdens. That's how fucking solid this shit finna be for you. It's gonna put an end. Like, it is some fucking wealth coming through. This could have been somebody leaving this shit to some of y'all. Is what I'm hearing. It's, it's, this could have been somebody leaving y'all something. And you probably didn't even know. But it's been wrapped up in court for a while. You know, it's been wrapped up in court. They had to go through what they had to go through. Because, you know, real estate, air property is never cut and dry. That shit can go on for I don't know how long. You know, years probably. Depending on the situations. You know, some of y'all, you know, somebody may have left you something. And they're just now getting around to, you know, finding people. You know, investigating, trying to locate where people are so that they can give them their portion. You know, because attorneys are going to always do their job. They're, they're going to find your ass. <laughs> that ain't a problem. You know, if you got money coming to you from somebody's inheritance that they left you, they're going to find you. They're going to find you. But it could have been held up in court, you know, for whatever reason. It just wasn't that time. Because remember, you're dealing with destiny and fate. So you are where you are because this is where you're supposed to be, you know, and whatever, you're going to have an extreme amount of luck. Destiny and fate is about luck and opportunities and new beginnings, okay, as well. Okay, let's see what the greatest advice spirit has for you. The greatest and most uh, positive advice spirit has for you. I saw the Ace of Wands again, which is up there. So you're definitely getting a new beginning. I saw the Ace of Wands twice. What is the greatest advice for Libra, Spirit, Source, Energy? What is the great advice for Libra? What is the greatest, greatest advice for Libra? What is the greatest spiritual advice for Libra? On this physical plane, Spirit, Source, Energy. Greatest advice for Libra. What advice do you have for Libra spirit? 
Ooh, new beginnings, baby. Look at that taking action under the bottom with that sword, that ace of sword. Ooh, there the world. Oh, Lord. Y'all finna get it fucking big. Oh, my gosh. Y'all ass finna be sitting on top of the goddamn world. Who is this? God damn. Oh, y'all got some, y'all got some destiny and fate for real. Y'all finna be sitting on top of the world with this new, this action, baby. Oh, with this new beginning. Shit. Oh, and you got so much clarity now. Swords is about clarity. It's about, it's a summarized sword to me. Like it cuts like on both ends. So you always got to watch what you say and what you do because the sword can come back and cut your ass too. So that's just, but you know, you, oh my gosh. Y'all, y'all got so much clarity right now and transparency that you see now. You see, and you're going to be able to cut through a lot of uh, horse shit. <laughs> Bullshit, horse shit, you know, pig shit, whatever kind of shit, right? Monkey shit, all of it. You're going to be able to see now. You're, you're going to be able to see why you, you had to do all of this, why you went through all of these burdens, you know. Spirit Source, what is the advice... For Libra, what advice do you have for Libra? Spirit, what's the advice for Libra? Any advice for Libra, Spirit? Any any advice for Libra? They don't want to give y'all no advice. Shit, they were like, "What advice can we give you?" <laughs> your ass is uh, <laughs> your ass is uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're coming out of an egotistical toxic uh relationship marriage here and you had to fight this is the seven of swords this is the seven i mean it's not swords wands i'm sorry this is you fighting for what you want this is you know you pushing back you blocking communication again blocking out communication blocking out those that you know uh standing up for yourself standing your ground this is because you were standing your ground and you, you let go of a toxic relationship or marriage at some point that had you, had you hung up in a lot of energy, a lot of stale, stagnant uh, energy for so long, okay? You, were, you felt alone. You felt, you felt uh, uh, withdrawn. You felt hung, you know, just stagnant. You just felt like, why am I just hanging here? I'm not hanging here anymore. This is about, you know, you were keeping, you or your person was keeping themselves in a toxic relationship. Not wanting to change. Okay. Uh, missed an opportunity. This hangman's about egotism. Being caught up in the ego. You or your person was caught up in the ego. And was in a very, very toxic relationship and wanted out. Somebody wanted out and, and wanted a divorce from uh, somebody. And this, this energy is what you had to heal from. That's why your, your heart chakra was blocked. Because of this toxic marriage. Cause, uh, or belief system that had you hung. But this hairpin is about an upright position is about law, liberty, uh, religious beliefs, structure, marriage. This is people coming to you for advice, seen as like a pope, you know, a high figure, a priest, you know, someone of a high, high, a high priestess almost. But this is the hairpin. So this is still kind of up there like a bishop. Um, but like I said, this is... Um, someone this is what broke the camel's back so to speak <laughs> so you coming out of that energy you're you're now coming no wonder the ten of wands is here you know coming out of that energy but coming out of that energy it left you lack but because you stood your ground you know you didn't you kept pressing forward you didn't you kept fighting you know to keep the balance to keep you know, to be, to walk in truth and justice 
and, and be kind, you know, and be balanced in your ego. You didn't get a big head. You didn't, you know, you saw this person as your soulmate. You did see this person because it's right over the six of cups at the heart of the matter. So you did saw you did see this person as your soulmate or twin flame. Spirit source, why is the seven of wands here crossing the, the justice? Yeah, look at it. Soulmate again. Pops out again. Double, double soulmate. You really thought you really you really saw this person as your soulmate. You really at one time saw this person as your soulmate. That's out twice. Wow. 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 But you've let that burden go. Like I said, you've released yourself from this toxic uh, situation here. Let's see what the romance, uh, since this is, seems to be about soulmates and stuff like that. <laughs> let's, see, let's see what's going on with the romance cards. Spirit source energy. What do you have? If, what, if, what spiritual advice do you have for Libra on this romance part of this reading? So you recover, you recover, no doubt, from the five of pentacles. That's not an issue. You come in like the empress, getting your justice, okay? And like I said, with the wheel of fortune under the bottom here. So yeah, you get, what, you get what's owed to you. Spirit source energy, what do you have for Libra? Some of y'all been through the true love wow this is the romance of a lifetime so whatever this new person is or whatever you're thinking about this is your soulmate this is about true love this is about uh this is a romance of a lifetime and that's what the ace of wands actually is it's a hot passionate romance that some of you are about to embark upon so you are going to get your soulmate connection you know you are finna have oh put the wrong card up there you are about to have your your soulmate connection that's about true love spirit source energy what else for libra that's because y'all been through a lot that's why you've been through a lot in love you know children pay attention to red flags okay your love life is being affected by children some of you guys might have blended families or like I said, it could be a, a child support case where you're going to have to work together with that extra person in there to make this thing balance out with this new person or your person or this soulmate that's coming because the Ace of Wands says it's coming. Something ended so something can come in and they're going to probably already have children for some of y'all for some of or you are, you're the one with the little children. The little, the little small children okay and you're gonna have to work they're gonna have to work together with you and your children to make this work okay uh, something to do with children and then pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you and anything that spirit is trying to show you to get your attention as a red flag doesn't mean bad it's just mean that's how the spirit is talking to you to get your attention boo they throw a red flag where you go, because see, that's the only thing we kind of respond to. The radar goes up when we be like, wait a minute, that shit ain't right. That's too good to be true. That kind of stuff. But it, it's not that it's not too good to be true. That's your red flag to get you to look at it. Because whatever you're doing and distracted from, you're not looking at the whole picture of the situation. That this person is your person. Okay? And what this person can now come in because you came out of a toxic partnership that you once had and your heart chakra was closed okay and now you can receive this six of cups that came out twice six and six is 12 okay so if you've been seeing 12 12 or six six a lot then those numbers are speaking to you even still okay because this is saying this person is true love and it's about these children and pay attention to the red flags y'all this person is wanting to blend families they may have children you may have children could be small children could be grown children it doesn't matter there but this is your true love and pay attention to the red flags is pay attention to what spirit is trying to point out to you in the form of a red flag 
Because a lot of times things that are too good to be true are true love indeed. They are true love indeed. We would say it the other way around as humans. Oh, if it's too good to be true, then it is. No, no, the fuck it ain't. Because why else would you have soulmate and twin flames if it was too good to be true? That means that is the right person for you. And you and it came out twice. So that definitely tells you this is your person. And, and when you and your person connect, okay, then uh, it's going to be gravy. Oh, it's going to be gravy. It's going to be gravy. Let's see what your person is thinking about you. Your source, what is Libra person thinking about? What is Libra thinking about their person? What, this is our, I forgot what these are called. Romance, love, or something other. I forgot these little ones called. I got so damn many cards. Spirit source, saying, what is Libra person thinking about them or their person thinking about them? Or Libra thinking about their person right now? What is on their mind, spirit source energy? What is on their mind right now? Spirit source energy, what is on their mind? All right. We are eternally blessed by a profound love, by a sacred union with the great source of light, whose love moves the earth and stars. Oh my bejeebus. I could fucking cry. You are who you are because of your history. All of it has helped you grow in love and wisdom. Every experience has blessed you in some way. Embrace the past and forgive anything that needs forgiving. That's how you move forward, Libra. That's how you move out of that block chakra. That heart is you give, you forgive any and everything from your past. And that's when the soulmate comes in. That's when that true love comes in. Positive and loving thoughts are instrumental in creating positive loving relationships so that's about saying affirmations saying positive thoughts putting positive uh vibrations into yourself okay fear and doubt only serve to create greater uncertainty so if you're overcome with fear and doubt that this is true love it's saying replace it with i am's mantras uh positive affirmations so that you can replace that fear because fear is something that hasn't even happened and that we create in our own mind and then that creates more of that uncertainty so now we don't have no hope that this is even love right so it's saying replace that with positive energy positive thoughts positive words look in the mirror tell yourself you're beautiful tell yourself you deserve love tell yourself you know you're worthy or or this is my soulmate this this is what my soulmate looks like telling the universe what your soulmate look like what you want in a soulmate will bring that soulmate in okay after you let it after you forgive of course and then it says Think more about what is right in your relationship and less on what you think is wrong. And see, again, it goes by what you're thinking. Think about all the good the person does or whoever this person is, whoever your person is or whoever y'all thinking about. Think about all the good things they do and not about what they ain't doing right now because that person may not show love the way you show love. You got to understand love language body language word of uh, how that person's mind work the yin and the yang again because you're this is your your shadow this is your mirror self so you operate in love differently than this person might operate in love differently you might speak in love differently than this person might speak in love differently y'all somebody may be close to affection in public where one is more affectionate in public and don't care that person might be affectionate at home, but in public, that person wants to appear hard or not a softy, right? Depending on who you're with. So, and like I said, you got to understand each other's body language, your love language, okay? And, and how you are, because you're a mirror, you're a mirror of each other. So you should be able to put that together and go, oh, this is my person. You know, I'm the outward, so they're the inward. Remember, it's a contrast to everything. It's a contrast to everything. So if you're mirroring each other, you're not, you're going to be the same, but not be the same. You're going to still have some form of identity that separates you, but everything else will typically mirror each other in, in a, in a, in a goddamn, uh, 
drastic way where you you can't even fucking miss the red fucking flag that's the red flag the mirror that you and this person has is the fucking red flag because you're like how the fuck are we this alike how that's a fucking red flag y'all it's not a bad red flag it's getting you to notice wow this is your person this is your soulmate don't give up on that okay so that's y'all reading. I, I could do my rocks. Let's do my box of rocks. We ain't done my box of rocks in a minute. Baby, the owl box. The box of stones, baby. The box of I'm going to turn around so I don't look. Let's see what words of wisdom do we have from the box of stones for y'all Libras out there that y'all can meditate on. happiness see there replace all them uh negative thoughts and stuff with happy thoughts with happiness feeling happy put yourself in the happy moment to lift your vibration let's get two more Woo! prosperity coming y'all i told you that damn wheel of fortune was coming i told you this shit was coming i told you it was coming now one more Look at that energy. What? Let's close the box of rocks, baby. Let's close the box of rocks. Look at this. Y'all are finna have happiness, prosperity, and energy. Look at that. Meditate on those words and, and pull in that energy into your present moment. What would happiness feel like to you? What would prosperity feel like to you? What would more energy feel like to you? Shit, it'll feel like the goddamn sun to me, goddamn it. Shit, I ain't looking at the sun on these cards. Look at my little, look at my little, look at my little crystal. Look at that sun. Look at there. Look at there. That's what I'm talking about. See, you got if you gotta sit here and look at this to to to, to make yourself believe this is all around you, then that's what you do. It doesn't even matter about what nobody else think. If you want to pull in this, your happiness, your prosperity, and more energy, more vitality, more youthfulness, then you have to, look, that's the heart chakra color right there, and that's the money attraction right there. It's pink and green. I keep telling people it's love and fucking money, goddammit. That's what it is. It, that love is going to bring in that happiness and that money. The love. It's the love that's going to do it when you open your heart chakra. It's going to pull in all that abundance from the universe and you're going to have that happy home. Remember, I was talking about in the beginning that balancing your home in yourself, in your house, in wherever you are, wherever you go, you're going to have that state of happiness. Prosperity is the abundance of that happiness or of that energy or of financial uh, burdens being removed or struggles being removed or searching that that struggle in love being removed okay because you're getting the justice you're getting the will of fortune you're getting some type of victory and success from this reading because you let go of something very toxic that was keeping you from all of this and you realized it and so when you realized it you began to do the work so that you can bring about a change that's why the five was so important the five with the hermit where is it at no wait a minute where was my five at y'all oh right here the the number five dealing with change some of y'all might be seeing five 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 a lot because it's meaning a change is coming okay that's what it's meaning a change is coming the hair fin is even five so look at that look at that uh five five so, yeah, some of y'all are getting ready to, to really see a drastic change in y'all uh, life right now. You're, you're going through change. You're going through a positive change. Okay, it's not bad. This was a very positive reason. I actually love it. I want to know who it is. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know who it is. I want to know who it is, spirit. You know. But there's your words to uh, think about, and that's your house that came up for your overall card, the 10th house, your achievements and uh, achievements 
and status in the outside world. Some of y'all are going to be a star. Some of y'all are about to be recognized uh, Libras out there. Y'all are really finna just uh, glow up like like a fucking star. Could be local, could be community, could be business-wise. Whatever you're doing, you're going to have a lot of success. Because wherever you see stars, you're going to see success. You're going to see a wish fulfillment, right? And that's your achievements to the outside world. That's your status to the outside world. That's what you want the outside world to see that this is this is who you are this is this is uh my this is what i do you know th this is you getting business right clientele clients customers right it, pink law of attraction baby this is all law of attraction that's all this is is law of attraction and you're using that pink that that rose quartz energy that heart chakra energy to pull it in that's what you're doing you're using that love to pull it in beautiful reading libras hope y'all enjoyed it uh work on that meditate on those words feel that positive abundance uh coming in that sun and and bring it on in bring it on in bring it all in thank you don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel comedic arts yoga the and symbol and reiki tarot your girl and uh don't forget to hit that bell button bing so you can get those downloads as i upload okay and you know what your girls say peace love and harmony because if you got peace love and harmony in yourself you'll have peace love and harmony in the world so peace love and harmony libras